Uh, hello, today I wanted to talk about ferns. In many countries of the world, ferns are eaten, usually after boiling or even special processing. Um, usually the fronds are eaten. Only in case of bracken, the uh, starchy rhizomes are also made into food. But from all the ferns, this is the tastier. It's a very common garden fern called ostrich fern, Mateusia struthiopteris. Uh, a characteristic feature of this fern is that it produces um, underground um, shoots and um, just spreads like um, en masse. It appears in when you plant one, after a few years you have like here, like a hundred. Of course, it is not the only fern which does it, because bracken does it as well. Um, but many ferns don't do it. And um, so this one is quite easy to grow, and you often find it in places like cemeteries and parks, because once you plant it and it's happy there, it will start spreading vegetatively. Um, how to recognize ostrich fern? A very characteristic feature is the lack of spores. You can, you can see that... Uh, there are no black spores, which are so common in, in other ferns. And here is the generative leaf. This um, part of the fern produces spores. Uh, they, don't, they don't occur on the uh, bottom side of normal leaves. So look for these. Um, sometimes you cannot see them in ostrich fern, but this specimen has it. Um, ostrich ferns are eaten in uh, many countries all over East Asia. They are highly appreciated in um, China, but also they are well known in Canada and Native Americans in Canada used to eat it. Uh, and they taught uh, the white people. So now in many parts of Canada, people, people know them and they collect the fiddleheads, you can even buy them in shops. And someone told me then that in, in some part of Canada there are two ways of preparing it. One is called à la française, with um, white sauce, and another à la polonaise, the Polish way. Uh, the way, like uh, people in Poland uh, make uh, beans, um, they fry them on butter with breadcrumbs and black pepper. So this is the Polish way, yeah, you, you just heat some butter, throw dry breadcrumbs, then you throw the fiddleheads and then you add some black, black pepper. Really delicious. Uh, I really like this fern. It's a very rare in Poland in the wild, but it's very commonly grown in garden and often, like here, just escapes and spreads. Um, of course, this is not the only edible fern. Actually, most ferns are more or less edible after processing, but they are not, not, not all of them are tasty, and some of them may be toxic in larger amounts. And from people's experience, from traditional knowledge, we know that this fern is the best. Yeah, it's highly prized in many countries, and it's the safest to eat. So once you collect the little fiddleheads like here, you can, um, at this stage, you can, you can collect the tops of... Um, of leaves but of course when they come out when they are closer to the ground you can collect the whole leaf so here you would collect like this part so um, any part which which breaks is okay this curled part And uh, you shouldn't eat them raw, but uh, it's enough to boil them for a few minutes and then take the water out and toss them on a frying pan into hot oil or into butter and they are delicious. I hope you can try this plant. It's a very short season to collect them. Like here in Poland, it's usually the second part of April, maybe early May. So we have to hurry up. And now I will tell you how to make uh, fiddleheads similar to the Polish classic dish of um, beans in uh, breadcrumbs and butter. So I will uh, put the beans in the boiling water and then I will separately fry 
uh, breadcrumbs on butter and then we're gonna mix it together and just put salt and pepper. I'm putting the, the, the fiddleheads in the water, in the boiling water. Now we've melted the butter, we'll put some breadcrumbs, salt and black pepper, freshly ground black pepper. Voilà. Bon appétit, smacznego. Mmm, mmm, wonderful.